the high-level corruption allegedly carried out before the 2015 election is still a major subject of controversy between the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, and the main opposition, the People's Democratic Party, the PDP. The corruption of the previous five years is what destroyed the Nigerian economy. We as a party and your government must show the difference between us and the party and government that impoverished our nation. We must show that difference. While the APC appears to be calling attention to the extent of damage done by the People's Democratic Party at every opportunity, the PDP on its part is already growing a thick skin to defend itself from the unending rhetoric of the ruling party. Any time the vice president has the opportunity to face the camera, he begins to announce figures that he cannot support. Our advice to the vice president is that as a professor of law, he knows the pathway to follow when you accuse somebody of corruption. It seems the word of words is all about the 2019 election. The PDP, which held sway for 16 years, is doing everything possible to make a return to power after apologizing for all its mistakes while in office. The party is not denying its culpability in some of the allegations raised by the APC government, but then it is insisting that the APC itself is not clean, as some of its former members, who may be guilty of some of the allegations, are now with the APC. The APC on its part seems not ready yet to let out its strategy for the 2019 election. Neither has the incumbent president indicated his intentions to seek re-election. What is rather paying attention to is for Nigerians to first understand the situation it met on the ground and efforts being made to change the tide. While the battle to win the minds of the electorate continues between the two political parties, so much is expected of the electorate in whose hands lie the big card to decide who actually wins the number one seat in the year 2019. Welcome back. We are still uh, focusing on this, but it's our concluding moment as we just proceed on this. Mr. Gobo, you were making a point uh, about this list, but then, uh, you know, there are those who will say, look, number one, corruption needs to be fought in this country. And uh, it's as if it's gov if government releases names, they're damned. If they don't release names, they're damned. People always want government to publish or go ahead and obey court orders. Now, if the EFCC were the ones who had published this list, would anyone have been aggrieved? Nobody would have disagreed. Because EFCC has the responsibility by the nature of their work to investigate, indict, and take these people to court. Now, if I were releasing, if I was the one releasing this list, I would categorize them. Category A. X, a, a man has been accused of embezzling 2.8 billion he has refunded 400 million all those who have refunded million uh, monies will be categorized as one these are the other cases for which we have charged to court and these are the pending cases under investigation this is a blanket but indictment so what about those who argue that well it, it may not matter for whether or not it was the efcc that release the names or the executive arm because uh, the order was addressed to the government. So whichever arm of government or the executive publishes it doesn't matter. This is where the credibility of the whole process has always come into discussion. The conversation remains that government is tampering with how EFCC is doing its but, job. But that hasn't taken away the rights of those who have been accused to go to court. Has it? They are already in court. No, I mean those names who may not have been in court, whose their names have been released now. Yes. Either from this second 23 or the first trial. Yeah. In, in point of fact, it doesn't restrict them to the, the names of those who have not already in court. If, if my name was here, I would go to court. Because I am not guilty and I'm already pronounced a looter 
by the federal government. But government has the information which perhaps we may not be privy to. Yes. So for them to have come up with these names, doesn't that suggest that, look, because they said, look, this is as a result of verifiable facts. Yeah, so but if you it want makes to it God, easier you to welcome. prosecute. I think if I may intervene, it I, I it think easier. it's important for us to, not to, I mean, to get something fast clear. Those names that have been published so far, has anybody, any one of them come out to say those facts are not true? Some of them. Yes. yes. One or two. Mm -hmm. We've heard yes. one or two. Again, again if you look at the list, it is, it is stated there that some of them have you know, made refund. Has any of those who have alleged, who are alleged to have made refund come out to deny making such refund? To, uh, the, the, I think what we should be insisting no, what's upon. The, what's the point about that? If they haven't or if they have, they they have, have none of them, I mean, they have not, if they have not denied, it's an admission of guilt. If they have received money. Yes, if, if they, they have they refunded, refunded money. Refunded money. Refunded. 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 Because if you, if you look at the list, yeah. they said certain persons, you know, started looting uh, certain sum of money. And some of them have refunded part of the... So the government will be right in that case if they say, well, these are the... I mean, the information refunded. in the public space so far, is it, very, I mean, is it factual? I mean, I, 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 factual or falsehood? And this is important. If you forget about mistake that may have been made. What is important is that a common word is involved here. Again, the only concern I have as a as a lawyer is that uh, the go which I blame the government for is that uh, why don't you take advantage of the rule of law, you know, prescriptions in our constitution by taking arranging them in court rather than you know this publication. But they haven't said they will not. No, no, I think they should do that. It's important government should do that. Mr. Gubo, let, let and me, government, let, and I see let, government, let and, I, and I see government doing that. Let me ask you this in, question. In the, in the next few days. It seems that perhaps people look at this as, as if we're not really getting it right from the start. When we had that situation where Nigeria was adjudged fantastically corrupt, and the government came out to say that what we need is the money back, we're only after the money. What about the prosecution part of it? See, Does that give the Nigerian people that confidence that there is a sincerity of purpose by this government to want to fight this corruption? Can I respond to that, please? Let me get his thoughts. Okay. You see, cost and We're effect. Not a judge, actually. <laughs> <laughs> cost, <laughs> just... cost and effect. If the British government described us as no, well, just, uh, was it, it was the government the, just the, the, uh, it was the prime minister. The prime minister. Prime minister. Cameron, the former. Cameron, and said we are fantastically corrupt and we didn't react in the way we should have by saying, oh yes, we, we are going to make sure that those we found we find corrupt will be prosecuted and dealt with according to our laws. But there was also a reaction because there were publications severally that but some see, of those monies are referring to the body language in UK. of our then president, of our president, was he accepted that description as Nigerians are fantastically corrupt. And that's when, again, when our economy started to sink. Well, clearly, Nigerians, they can't, see, they can't they, every they, Nigerian I'm in just, one brush. I'm just saying, that's, sir, that's clear. with due respect, this matter does not accept it has moved from one table to the campaign table, where I believe it, it rightly is now. This is not a thing that should. There are other, other urgent national issues. We are not done with the headsmen. We are not done with all kinds of. Uh, the budget is there, and this is there. Why come out now? So it's about timing for you.